Hello, I'm going to show you how do you can start creating infographics. PictoChart is a really easy program to use. You can get it for free on your browser. Um, so you just click to log in and you can sign in through Google as well. So I'm just going to sign into my Google account. When you open up PictoChart, you can go to your saved ones that you've already done to continue working or Picto theme. So you can choose, you can choose by categories or you can just look at the default of what they have there on the first page. Some of these themes you have to upgrade to use them, uh, but a lot of them are free. So the hardest part I think about creating infographics is picturing it in your mind. So you're putting data into images. So try to look through the themes that are given to you and see which one would work best. You can always customize later, but it's good to get an idea of what you want it to look like. So I'm going to click on one of them. I'm going to preview it. I think it looks good, so I'm going to pick this theme. So these themes are basically templates, and I can change a lot about these templates. I can click on, say, this title here, and I can change this to whatever I want. You'll notice that um, it's a little bit like Word, so I can go down here and change the font style and the size and the boldness and where it's the alignment. Um, they have a lot of stuff in here for you already to give you ideas. A lot of this is in Latin here, so it's just a sort of a placeholder. And you can remove things, so just clicking on it and clicking delete. And you can go down and add in some icons, so I can drag in any pictures that I want. Um, I can resize them. So a lot of things that you're used to doing um, if you use uh, Word or PowerPoint. You can also do things like add blocks in. So I'm going to make this pictograph infographic a little bit longer and then I can copy and paste images in from up here down to the bottom. So you can really customize your infographic to look however you want it to look. As you go, you'll want to go to File, Save and just save periodically. So I'm going to leave that as my title and click OK and that's going to save it for me. So you can share these infographics two ways. You can share it through an HTML URL um, and that is stable so any changes that you make after you share that URL that will keep updating. So that's the benefit of using the, H the uh, URL. You can also share through creating a JPEG or a PNG image. So you just click export when you're done and you click publish to HTML. So you can publish to HTML, you can get the URL or you can get a, an image here. So PictoChart is a really easy way to start thinking about using infographics and infographics are a great way to really quickly display some data when you don't want to read a full report or you don't want to make someone else read a full report with lots of data. Vi putting it into a visual way is really, really helpful. So have fun with PictoChart and happy creating!